All right, welcome, welcome to everybody around the world. Welcome to all my subscribers also. I don't know how many people out there around the world are actually going to watch my video here, um, but <clears throat> I'm going to word it in case it does get a lot of views. Uh, so I've been studying UFO phenomenon for like over 20 years. I've seen everything out there. I've heard all the whistleblowers, testimony, seen all the stuff that's out there. So I know what to compare things to. Now, <clears throat> with this so-called jellyfish UFO or UAP, I don't think it looks at all like a UFO or UAP, but I'll get to that in a moment. But that's what it's called and it's deemed as. I just want everybody to know, factoid number one is that this was allegedly um, leaked through the military. And I think it's even been confirmed by the Pentagon. I'd have to 100% confirm that, but I've heard that from good sources. Um, <clears throat> so we have to start on that because a lot of people are just saying that it's a completely bogus video. A lot of people have said that this thing that's floating on the screen just looks like bird droppings stuck on the, the lens of the, or the protective shield of the camera. And also at first, at face value, if you just watch like 20 seconds of the footage, it really does just look like bird poop on the lens. Um, there's a number of points where the object slows down, speeds up, and it, it's actually moving. You can see parts of it moving. So I really, and there's been a lot of other really good explanations <clears throat> as to why it's it's not bird droppings. Um, I haven't personally seen the clip where it allegedly drops down into the water, um, like has been said, for 15 minutes and then goes straight back up, well, at a 45 degree angle. I haven't seen that video personally, but from all the clips that I have seen, and I've seen different clips from different angles, um, totally different places filming the same object, <clears throat> object or whatever it is, and it def in everything that I've seen, it, it can be seen rotating, okay? Um, the appendages or whatever it is on there move a bit. So I really don't think that it is um, bird droppings. So what is this thing? It, it's not a drone. I mean, it could be arguably, but why would somebody have a drone that's invisible to the naked eye, invisible to allegedly all the other military equipment except for thermal, thermal cameras? Uh, it was only detected on thermal. So we could rule out a drone. It's not a drone. And when's the last time somebody put all these appendages and stuff on a drone? You know, it had upwards facing appendages. It had downwards facing appendages. There is no real symmetry, <clears throat> symmetry to it that we could observe in the clips thus far. It looked quite random and sporadic. Um, but it looked like a very natural type thing. It didn't necessarily look like something that was constructed or technological, but it was behaving and operating like a technological uh, device. Uh, also, I would say, um, well, I'll get into whether people think it's a creature or not, but let me throw this one out there now before I forget. The way that it moves isn't typical of a creature. I mean, if it was outright, it was a creature, something that you know can only be seen in a different wavelength for whatever reason, and they exist out there or something like weird like that, <clears throat> maybe they're rare. And because we got these latest technologies, we can see them now. It, maybe, but I'm kind of leaning against that because if it was a creature, we would see it move around like a creature. Okay. The appendages, whilst they slightly move and the object slightly rotates, <clears throat> we don't really see it landing and doing things and, and moving the appendages around. <clears throat> and we don't see it. Um, Sorry, let me take a sip of my coffee. And we don't see it like moving around different directions in like graceful motions or jagged motions. It's just more like a linear path, just going like that. Let me take some of my coffee. So <clears throat> I don't think it's a creature, even though it more resembles a creature than a technological craft. Now, some people have said that when you zoom in and clarify the images, you can see what possibly looks like the head of a being, possibly a gray, piloting this craft. It'd be something that they either sit or stand up in and has appendages down. I've heard some people saying it could be used for excavation um, or picking up objects off the ground. I mean, it, it's kind of interesting. The images that are clarified kind of do look like the head of a being sitting there, like the exposed head. And maybe they just have some kind of rustic or crude looking or semi-natural or camouflage type um, vehicle that they, they sit in. And it's just rough and rugged looking. <clears throat> but we can't really verify, you know, who clarified those images. We'd have other people would have to do it themselves and come up with the same conclusion and see the same thing. 
So I'm, I wouldn't use that as personal evidence anyways. Plus, I would lean against, you know, if it was such a craft for like a jetpack type thing for a creature to fly around. And whilst that sounds interesting and all, um, it's just strange that a technological craft would be so obscurely designed. OK, this thing, whatever it is, OK, looks more like some type of exotic exhaust cloud. OK, that is operating according to some principles of physics. OK, so you know, I did some reading up on this and there are certain types of fancy exhausts you get from rockets and missiles and different things and, and maybe even some jet craft. And due, due to different um, environmental uh, conditions and this and that there, and because the exotic chemicals are, you know, um, like elements of these gases and whatnot, they might take upon certain shapes or act in a certain way or move a certain way or be certain colors. And people looking at them up in the sky might think, oh, wow, this is some weird creature. I mean, they even have a term um, called space jellyfish or rocket jellyfish, I think. I think it's space jellyfish. And sky jellyfish, depending on what term you use, but I mean, there's articles on it. There's actually a term for when rockets take off or are fired, maybe missiles as well, but rockets. And if the conditions are met, you can see these things. And I've seen photos of it. They don't look at all like the um, alleged jellyfish UAP in the video that we're talking about. But nonetheless, <clears throat> I'm just mentioning that those things are out there. However, the jellyfish UAP thing does look like a cloud. It looks like some form of gas. It doesn't really, I mean, the only other thing it could resemble that we know of in nature or could compare it to is like a clump of moss or algae, some weird type of, or, or some type of like coral formation, like a plant weird, you know, something along those lines in nature. But those things don't float and fly. So it's just a highly doubt that it's going to be something like that. It, to me, it makes the most sense that this is, but there's still a problem with what I'm going to suggest, so bear with me. But what it looks like most aligns with some form of exotic exhaust gases that for whatever reason, maybe they've been emitted by a, another actual UFO or UAP, and because they have exotic properties or there's some exotic chemical, they operate and act differently. Okay? Now, that would make sense if it is some exotic, maybe UAP exhaust or some type of release. Um, ironically, maybe it's something like they jettisoned their urinary vapor. <laughs> you know what I mean? You never know, right? Um, I don't know, but it looks like a gas. It's clumped together like a gas. It floats like a cloud. Clouds can go in linear lines, you know what I mean? But the only problem with that theory is that it does seem to be under some type of intelligent control and like it's going on a directed path. It's not going on some natural path where it would eventually just be blown around by the wind and, and this and that there. And if it's true, it goes down into the ocean, it comes back out, then it would definitely be something directed. So what the heck would it be then? Could it be a cloaked craft? Like they would disguise and cloak it. Well, let's put it here. Logic is the best tool, right? If they're aliens or ultra terrestrials, I personally think that some of these beings out there flying stuff around are actually just from the earth. Um, they've either been stationed here for a very long time or they co-evolved here and they've just kept separate and maybe they're a few hundred years more advanced than us. It would explain a lot of things. That's been my age long theory. And they could be underground or in uh, one or two ocean cities under, under the oceans or lakes somewhere, right? It fits in with mythologies and yada yada, right? So. It's just, I highly doubt if you had whether genuine aliens or ultra terrestrials, whatever, and they're going to be events to start with. Why would, and this craft was allegedly invisible. It could only be detected by thermal devices, not even other types, right? It's already advanced, more advanced than us. It's already invisible. It's already undetectable, virtually in all ways. Why would they then need to further obscure and camouflage it by making it look like a cloud, fluffy, weird, algae-looking thing, jellyfish-looking thing? Why would they need to do that? Who are they going to be fooling? Are you, are you telling me that the aliens are designing their technology, their whatever this thing is, let's call it a drone craft, and they're like, you know, it's already super advanced. It's got anti-gravity. You know what I mean? It can go 
you know, fly anywhere. It won't run out of battery. It can go up and down. It can go maybe even go under the water. And they're like, um, oh, yeah, let's make it so it's invisible. So it's invisible. And it can't be detected by this, that, this, that, and there. And then they say, oh, the one thing is it might be detectable by thermal. And they're like, man, well, that doesn't really matter. And then one of them pipes up, hey, wait a second. Let's disguise it like a, like a big floating jellyfish thing. Like the whole design team of the aliens would just be like, what? Why would we want to do that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's illogical. Like, why would they then need to further take it an extra step and be like, hey, yeah, let's disguise it like some strange thing that doesn't even exist in nature. Like, that's not going to fool anybody. You know what I mean? Like, can you imagine their perceived enemy be like, okay, folks, we got to watch out for invisible drone scout craft. And then they see this jellyfish looking thing go by and they're like, well, that's normal. You know what I mean? Like, that's never going to happen. So <laughs> it's not some type of cloaking or camouflage, right? Um, is it some very strange interdimensional or earthly creature that exists in another fold or something that we're somehow witnessing? I don't know, but it doesn't act like a creature, like I said. That's why I think at the end of the day, it's probably some exotic exhaust gases that have been released. And ironically, there are military <clears throat> um, videos that were released many years ago. I think they're from South America or Mexico, where they show a craft that's in black and white military camera and they show a craft in the air and it's emitting gases okay so that that's a real video like that's a real ufo and we don't know what the heck it's emitting into the atmosphere right it just looks like it's jettisoning jettisoning something right but whatever um yeah, i'm just saying that because that does add credence to the fact that you uaps are depositing gases here <clears throat> that we probably don't really know much about um and you know, maybe these gas particles, when they're released, still have anti-gravity properties or something like that. Maybe they're so ionized or charged with whatever technology these craft have that even when they're jettisoned out, they still have these anti-gravity principles. And maybe if the craft is going like so fast in this direction <clears throat> and they shoot the stuff out um, just to jettison it, maybe it's going to go in the opposite direction in a linear path you know, equal but opposite to where the craft was going, you know, just by physics, you know what I mean? So maybe there's nothing paranormal or spooky or spectacular to it. Maybe that's all it is. And maybe it just flew like that for a while. Now, I would have to see the clip where it goes into the water to know that that's true. I don't know if that clip is bona fide until I see it myself. Um, if it does do that, I that would be another step that might rule out the jettisoned gas um, for all I could say. <clears throat> so before I end the video, what if the ocean clip is real and it does go in the ocean and come back out? So I'm not gonna make a part two. So let's just say, let's just consider if that's real, what could it be then? <clears throat> so I think the only logical alternative, as strange as it is, is that I don't think it's a creature because if it's a creature, those appendages would be moving around and this and that there. You'd see it moving. I, I, As much as it looks like a creature or a natural thing, I just don't think it is. So as strange and odd as it is, and even though I don't really find it plausible, if it did go in and out of the water like that and considering everything I just said, I think it would have to just be that it's a piloted craft, whether, sorry, it's a craft, um, under guidance, whether piloted or not. And for whatever reason, the craft just looks like that. And it could be, this has popped into my head, it could be if it is going in out of the ocean, they may have just picked up seaweed on it. That just occurred to me. So maybe it went down and, and got algae and, um, you know, all this goopy stuff from the ocean and seaweed and it just stuck to it. And it shot up so fast and the stuff kind of like got pressed down on it. And then the heat and the pressure from the sun and all that and the air dried it out and kind of like crusted it on there. So maybe it, it does have some forms of like appendages or whatever, mechanical ones, but they just got covered with this. I don't believe that it would have to camouflage itself as a flying octopus, squid, um, jellyfish, algae, moss monster in order to hide from things you know that just doesn't make sense so anyways it's a very strange video it definitely puts chills up your spine when you watch it um but just to let everybody rest assured i don't believe that there are sky jellyfish swimming around 
up in the atmosphere. Okay, I don't think there are interdimensional invisible creatures all around us that we're just picking up. I don't think it's any of that. I, I think it's just exhaust gases. And at most, like I said, maybe it's a craft that got covered with something like that. There you go. That's the most reasonable explanation. So anyways, take care, folks.